What's up guys? My name is Wingless Prune, otherwise known as Sitting Duck, and uh, today we're going to go through just a few settings that you can change for War Thunder in simulation mode. Um, now is it possible to play War Thunder simulation mode with just a mouse and keyboard without head track or pedals or joysticks or any, any uh, expensive equipment? And uh, simple answer is yes you can. If I can do it, um, you can too, and you could probably do it a lot better than I can. So we're going to tackle two main problems with the default settings in sim. Uh, the first thing is going to be the dead zone. This is way too big in my opinion. Basically means that you can turn your plane, right? You can manipulate the movements of your plane, but as soon as you go into that dead zone, it no longer takes your mass um, input. Right, so if there's a target that you need to do small um, manipulation uh, movements to get acquire that target, you can't do that. So if the target's just sitting over here, you can't just move, you gotta get out of that whole dead zone. Right, then the second thing would be rolling your plane. Now if you have a target that is below you, or you have the target that's behind you, and you want to roll or get out of danger, if you just use your mouse to try and roll your plane, the game is going to fight you. Look at that. It prevents me from going upside down. Okay, so the best way um, to do this on default settings is to try and roll your plane, then using A or D, but as soon as you let go of those buttons, you can see how the game is fighting me, so you have to keep tapping the whole time to try and stay upside down. Right, so we're going to fix that problem as well. And then just as a bonus, we'll throw in the uh, head movement for high deflection shots to uh, maybe look behind you nicer or just to look over your nose. Right, so let's go into the settings. So first thing I'm going to change is I'm going to go to full real controls. Okay, I'm going to change it from... Um, I'm going to change it to a mouse joystick. Now a couple of things we're going to uh, change straight away is uh, we go into the um, main, okay we'll come back to the main axis controls, but you want to scroll down until you see this setting, mouse joystick. Now you want to change from simplified to standard, okay? Then you want to probably throw this down, I'll put it down to 15% until I get better at the game and I can probably lessen it. Um, here's your dead zone put it down to 5%. You could probably even go smaller than that. You don't really need that dead zone. Well, I, I don't, so I'll probably uh, move it down. Okay, now, what happens as soon as you flick over to standard, um, what's going to happen is it's going to now invert your y-axis, both for your plane controls and for your camera controls. So that basically means now you need to go up to um, main control axis, invert y-axis, you need to change that to yes. Okay, so that means if I go up with my mouse, my plane pitches up. If I, pitch, if I go down, it pitches down. Okay, then your camera controls, you change that to yes as well. Same for looking up and looking down. I'm not one of those people that can go down and it looks up, confuses the shit out of me. So I just, uh, I can't do that. Anyway, all right. Then if you want to go to um, your head movements. Okay, so just as the bonus, um, you want to change your head movement upward downward okay so I've I've assigned that to the button X what you want to do is you want to double click on that my maximum value is X um, everything else is basically standard um, you don't have to change anything make sure that you do not have the relative control it must be off otherwise um, it's gonna not be the popping motion you're gonna have to hold it in and your, your pilot will slowly raise his head in which case you'll need a minimum value to lower his head again Right, so we just set that to X. As you can see, those are my settings. Cool, so now if we go back to our game. Okay, straight away. My dead zone. Look how small that is. You can barely even see it. It's like literally right here. So that's a much smaller dead zone, firstly. Okay, so now we can make those smaller movements. Secondly, uh, okay, we're going to leave the battlefield, so let's just turn around real quick. should be good right yeah all right so now we want to roll our plane okay so I'm just simply gonna use my mouse I'm not gonna touch my keyboard so I'm just gonna go like this and look how smooth that is right I've now rolled completely I can fly upside down I can do any sort of roll 
and it's a lot smoother, right? No crazy movements like this. Okay, obviously your plane, uh, depending on your plane, it might just uh, starve the engine. That's it. So now what will happen is you will have to pay more attention to trimming your aeroplanes because if you just let go, of, I'm not touching anything. You can see that my plane is starting to fall over. I have trimmed this plane already, so it's quite smooth. But if you have not trimmed your plane, you'll find that if you let go, your plane is just going to keep rolling and you'll basically just kill yourself. Um, whereas the default settings will prevent you from doing that. So you need to trim your plane. I will post a link on how to trim your plane um, uh, for another video. Cool, that's about it guys. Um, yeah, once again, my name is Wingless Prune, otherwise known as Sitting Duck 01. You can catch me on Twitch under Sitting Duck 01. And uh, good flights. Have a good one. Cheers guys.